In this video, you're going to learn to set up reviews on your Google Shopping ads, also known as Google Shopping Ratings. These are the review stars that show up on your Google Shopping ads. They improve your click-through rate, help you stand out compared to competitors, and give you an extra edge for performance. Okay, so how does the process of setting these up actually work. First, we need to get approved for Google Ratings in Merchant Center. Next, we need to create our reviews feed using an app like JudgeMe, Stamp.io, or one of the many other reviews apps. We then need to add this feed into Merchant Center, and then finally, we need to get it approved. By far, the hardest part of this process is setting up the reviews feed, but I'm gonna walk you through this step-by-step step in this video. The reviews feed is basically a database of all the reviews across all your different products for your store. But the first thing we need to do is actually get approved for the Google Ratings program in Google Merchant Center. You'll know you're not yet approved if you go into Google Merchant Center and look on the left-hand menu. If you don't see product reviews here, it means we're not yet approved, so let's do that right now. To enable, log into Google Merchant Center and go to Growth, Manage Programs and scroll down to find the Product Ratings card. Click Get Started. Here we'll see the Product Ratings Interest form. We'll fill it out now. The first question is, do you work with an approved third-party reviews aggregator? We have a few options here, so let me break this down. If you already have a third-party reviews app installed on your website, I mean an app like Yotpo, JudgeMe, Stamp.io or Ali Reviews. Click this link here and you're gonna see a list of approved third-party reviews aggregator apps. Check if your app is on the list. If so, you'll click the option yes. If not, then click the option no. It still means we can submit our reviews feed. Then select that we collect reviews for physical and or digital products. Then select that we have more than 50 reviews. If you don't yet have 50 reviews across your store, that's okay. Skip to later in the video where I show you how to set up Judge Me to collect and show your reviews on your store. This will then allow you to start collecting reviews from your customers right away. Then put in your merchant name, then add in your merchant account ID. Your merchant ID can be found at the top of your Google Merchant Center dashboard. Then put in your store homepage URL. It's gonna auto fill in your name and your email. It's then going to ask you if we use a comparison shopping service. This is largely applicable in Europe where this is much more common. You'll know if it's yes or no, if it applies to you. Click submit. After a few days, you'll receive an email from Google letting you know that you're accepted into the reviews program. You should now see product reviews as a menu item in your Google Merchant Center account. Now we're going to learn how to create the reviews feed for our Google Shopping ads. There are two main ways to set up your reviews feed. One is to use Google's free setup process. I do not recommend this for most stores. Only if you're a new store, you have zero existing reviews and you're trying to save as much money as possible. This method involves installing a special Google widget on your website. It doesn't look great and you can't import past reviews, so you're collecting reviews from zero. It's honestly not optimal at all and you might as well use a third-party app like JudgeMe, which is only $15 per month, which is the next method, using a third-party app. This means using a third-party reviews app like Stamp.io, Yotpo, or JudgeMe to create your reviews feed. This app will automatically collect reviews on your store and also create a reviews feed that you can use in your Google Shopping campaigns. If you already have a third-party reviews app installed on your store, there's a good chance they do have a Google Shopping feature. It's often at a higher pricing tier, but if you enable this, you'll automatically have your reviews feed and be able to use it on your Google Shopping ads. If this is you and you already have a reviews app installed on your store, I recommend checking out their support documents to see if they have this Google Shopping Reviews feature. I'll also add links below to all the guides for the popular reviews app so you can see how to do it for your store. If this is you, go through that guide, set it up for your store, and then come back when we wanna add the reviews feed into our Google Merchant Center account. If you don't already have a good reviews widget set up on your store, I recommend using JudgeMe. It's the cheapest, highest quality reviews app that I recommend. It's only $15 per month and it also includes the shopping reviews feed. I'm going to show you how to set up JudgeMe on your store right now and then how to set up the shopping reviews feed with that app. After that, we'll connect our reviews feed into Google Merchant Center so we can get our reviews app approved and then showing on our Google Shopping ads. 
Okay, now we're going to set up our reviews feed with the Judge Me app. Remember, this is for you guys out there that don't have an existing reviews app installed on your website with reviews that has a Google Shopping Reviews feature. First, let's install Judge Me on our store. To do this, just log into your Shopify dashboard, go to apps on the left, and click on customize your store. It's going to take you to the Shopify app store and we're going to search for Judge Me. You see here, it's the first one, Judge Me product reviews. It's got over 7,000 reviews, five stars. Go to the app page here. I'll also leave a link to Judge Me down below. Click on add app. It's going to ask for confirmation. Scroll down and click install app. Here, it's going to ask us to set up our store with Judge Me. Go through the recommended installation here, click start installation. It's going to ask where you want to apply your reviews across your store. You can select what you like here, but I'm gonna leave them all checked. It's going to ask you if you wanna install on your current theme or an unpublished theme. We're gonna put it on our actual website, so make sure you select the left one and click install Judge Me Now. It's then going to give us a preview. We can see that there's reviews here at the top, and then down here there's their reviews widget, which shows you some example reviews. Confirm that it looks good and go, yes, looks great. Now, Google requires you to have 50 reviews across your store before you can show your reviews on Google Shopping. If you already have reviews, you can import them into JudgeMe by going to Import and Export. Here, you can follow the options to import reviews from other platforms or even import from a CSV file import. Now, if you don't yet have 50 reviews elsewhere, then you just need to collect those first 50 reviews and then come back and complete the next steps to set up your Google Shopping reviews feed. To speed up collecting reviews, I recommend enabling auto reviews collection within JudgeMe by going to settings and then going to review requests. Here, you can set it up so JudgeMe will email your customers to encourage them to leave reviews on your store after purchasing. Once we have 50 or more reviews in JudgeMe across our store, just go to Settings, Advanced, and then Google Product Review Feed. Set the bar to On to enable your review feed. You should then make sure to enable the NPN identifier bar and the GTIN identifier bar. These are used so that JudgeMe can match the reviews of your products to the GTINs that are shown for the products on the feed. This means you do need to make sure that you add the NPN and the GTIN to the products on their product page information pages within Shopify. Now that we've created our Google Shopping Reviews feed, let's now add it into Google Merchant Center. Sign into your Google Merchant Center account. Click Marketing on the left-hand menu and go to Product Reviews. Click the Product Reviews feeds to open up the feeds page. Click the plus sign to create a new feed. Give your feed a name. I recommend something like reviews app name plus reviews feed. For example, judge me reviews feed XML. Make sure you choose scheduled fetch below. Click continue. Then jump over to the settings in your third party review app where they provided you with your reviews feed name and URL. For judge me, it looks like this and it's located in the Google shopping review section of the settings. Select the fetch frequency to be daily. For fetch time and time zone, you can just leave that as default. Then over in your third party review app, grab the feed URL that looks like this and paste it into the box here. If the URL is password protected, then provide the login information here. Then click create feed. You'll then need to wait until Google manually approves your shopping reviews feed. This can sometimes happen quickly, but can sometimes take up to two to four weeks. Once this review process is complete, you will then receive an email from Google and your shopping reviews will then start showing on your shopping ads. So that's how we set up reviews on our Google shopping ads, also called Google Shopping Ratings. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is just one of the videos in our free Google Shopping course on our website. It's a course that takes you through setting up, optimizing, and scaling your Google Shopping campaigns. It's 100% free with no sign required. I'll leave a link to it down below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.